So, ladies, it's a honour, pleasure to meet you both. Uh, it's been 52 years now since the original film. When was the last time you sat down and watched it, and what memories does it bring back for both of you? Um, the last time I probably would have watched it would have been for... Um, probably for a charity event of some sort, and uh, maybe several years ago. Um, but I know the film in my head really well. Um, it has been around for me for a long time. And uh, it, um, I'm, always, I'm, I'm always taken by the way that Lionel Jeffries managed to tell Inez Bitt's story so beautifully and very, very simply. And I love things like Diana Sheridan in it, um, who is, plays mother magnificently, as Peter says, and Bernard Cribbins, who just makes me laugh and cry and is a delight, and he was a delight. My, the memories that come back working on it are of him doing little ditties for, for uh, Sally and Gary and I on set and always telling stories and always full of energy, which gave it a real kind of buzz, and it was lovely. He was just delightful. So I have very, very fond memories. So those, that, that time seems like no time at all. Yeah. Um, so my, yes, the first time, yeah, the last time I saw it, but several years ago. Yeah, uh, I used to watch it with my family at Christmas time, and um, yeah, of course, when I then got the call saying that I could play <laughs> Jenny Agatha's daughter, it was like so. Ex I was so excited, I couldn't believe it. I haven't but, told you how important it was to me to hear that you were playing daughter. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. honestly, I'm, it's really nice to, to know that you're playing opposite someone who's done the sort of work that you've done and is so you know you I really admire what you've done so yes oh, so it does you, it does Jenny. <laughs> my god I'm still like, she's like royalty to us I'm still like, so excited <laughs> I make them curtsy <laughs> <laughs> well talking about that the the film uh, is set back in filmed in its original location did you find yourself being sort of welcomed with open arms and regaled with stories of when you were last there and that kind of thing? Well, the first thing that happened when I was on the station at Oakworth was there was a wave from the, um, the train driver, oh. and it was the same train driver that had been on the train 51, 52 years before. So we Amazing. chatted, and he said, I'd like you to meet my daughter. And um, she's the first uh, woman to have driven these steam trains. And she hadn't even been born when we did the railway children. Oh so it was a, it's a real sense of time and, and, and distance, but continuity as well. And everyone came out, the whole village came out when Jenny arrived. <laughs> it was amazing to see. Because they're so proud of it as well. You know, they're so proud of the railway children. Um, and so when Jenny was yeah. there, people were like the lying in the streets. It was just, at the railway station. It was yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, and the line I actually say in the film where I say, do you remember this? And you say like it was yesterday. Yeah. That still like gives me goosebumps and makes me emotional because it was, it was true. Yeah, you know, it was like, really yeah. was like life imitating art. It was amazing. You mentioned Lionel Jeffries, the late great Lionel yeah. Jeffries, and I read that he'd been very fatherly uh, to you as a child. Now you're playing the mother, the grandmother. Did you find yourself finding getting quite motherly, quite maternal to all the children on set and? after filming? I, I, it, well, different roles. I think being a grandmother, you're allowed to play much more than you can as a mother, because as a mother you have many more responsibilities. So I, I was able to go in there and play with the children, and, and um, yeah, I enjoyed that enormously. Yeah, Did you feel but, responsibility? Um, you, do you know, they were so uh, exactly like they are on screen, uh, off set, so they lived together and they were just this wonderful ball of energy, all of them. I fell in love with all of them, even when I arrived on set they'd left me notes on my makeup, you know, in the air. They were just gorgeous kids, not precocious. What you see in the film is like they're just wonderful kids, so I did become a little bit of a proud mum with them. Uh, <laughs> but unlike my character who's quite strict, um, yeah, I I'm not like that at all. <laughs> but not, yeah, I, see, I guess not responsible for them though. No, no, no. So, having filmed this sequel, this belated sequel, what are the memories you've taken away from this film, making this film? What are the memories that will last from it? Um, when, I, when I arrived, I, I arrived to a, a beautiful week in Yorkshire, um, a return to another time in a different way. Um, I arrived to a different way of filming. I've been in the business for for a period of time where you've seen you know, it's huge technical changes. And we were able, one of the things that, that um, will always stay with me is the way we film, because we filmed a lot with um, Steadicam, which yeah. means that you have a freedom to be, to move around. 
uh, and not set up shots so everything can move very very fast and it allows you to to just be able to create on the spur of the moment which is lovely and um, and I will take away the children and um, my memories of, of them and, and I'm looking forward to seeing what they do in the future. Yeah, and I, I love being back in Yorkshire, a Yorkshire lass, born and bred. So I love being back up there and seeing all that beautiful, breathtaking scenery. Obviously getting to work with Jenny Agatha uh, and also the wonderful kids. I mean, the, the whole job has been a dream. So yeah, lots of very happy memories. And finally, very quickly, Jenny, 52 years later, we finally got a sequel to this. When are we going to get sequels to Walkabout, Logan's Run, oh. American Werewolf? <laughs> they can't have sequels, I'm afraid. <laughs> no, I mean, it's lovely to see that time <clears throat> covered and, and to create a, you know, a, a different story in a different time. But no, I don't think... I think about Walkabout is it's, it belongs to Nick Craig's view of, of, a, of a world that is no longer possible. It's different. People always think that Walkabout came after Railway Children, but we actually shot it before Railway Children. Yeah. Wow. Thank you very much for your Thank time. Thank you. Um, it's a really nice film. Thank you. Oh, I'm so pleased. It means, it means a huge amount, actually, hearing people say that, because, you know, you're, it, people, you never know how people are going to react. And I do think it's a lovely film, but you just don't know. So mm. it's lovely to hear you say that. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>